Now one of the things that I personally struggled so much with was writing for long periods of time, both when I was at school and at university, especially sitting exams or sitting in long lectures and having to scribe notes. And I wish I'd been taught some of these hacks for just alternative ways of placing the hand and of things to be aware of when you're writing for long periods of time. So one of the things I find most problematic with young students when they're trying to write is the position of their spine. And this often correlates to any scoliosis that they do have. So I think if they're commonly positioning themselves in a really curled around space, the spine will kind of follow that glide. It also means it's most comfortable for them, so they spend a lot of time there. So a lot of students will pop their bottom out, lay down on the arm, and start writing this way. I did it while I was at university with one hand underneath so I could look up at the board and then I'd look down and so constantly my neck was in a very jammed position and then tilted off to the other side. If they're laying down it creates a big um, focus on this right side of the thoracic so you'll often end up with a right shifted and left rotated scoliosis. This obviously is not great for developing a spine. So often I get them to sit back in the chair, little slight forward tilt of the pelvis, relaxing back into the chair and trying to keep that right shoulder blade kind of gently in contact with the chair, not pulling back but just a little bit touching. This allows them to keep the spine nice and straight and then looking down their nose at the page will keep the neck and the spine in a much better position. The other thing that really helped me was discovering an alternative position for my hands. So when we usually learn to hold a pen, a lot of students tend to hyperextend this knuckle. Now thankfully for me being a physio, my fingers are not excessively hypermobile, um, but even so, sitting in this position and pressing it on here, I ended up with a divot in my finger from holding the pen so hard. This would then translate to cramps through the hand, through the forearm and up into the shoulder every time I was writing exams. Sometimes I'd even need to swap to the left hand to actually just keep going. However, a couple of years ago, somebody showed me a little hack that they'd learnt, which is actually placing the, the pen between the second and third fingers. Now this looks a little funny, but it actually is amazing at how little pressure it takes to hold the pen in this position. So I have the thumb underneath, forefinger on top, and the third finger just beside, as opposed to having the pen between the first and second fingers and pressing against that third one. When you hold the pen in this position, it actually takes a lot less force. The hand can be a lot more relaxed. It does take a little bit of practice, to get your same handwriting and I find mine have two slightly different characters when I write in this way but I find it much less effort through the hand and after a couple of weeks you should feel quite comfortable writing in that way even if it means you alternate between the two positions as you're working if you have a lot of handwriting to do it should make life a little easier and a little less pain if you're having to write for long periods.